I was born in South Dakota and I was born addicted to alcohol. I was born on a reservation and I was adopted out when I was four and moved to Maine. Growing up, um, I knew when I was 13, 14 years old, um, when another family member started using substances, I knew the way that it affected the family that I wouldn't do that. Um, it didn't take long before, probably four years later, I was drinking and making poor decisions in my life. I ended up being incarcerated. I got a 20 year sentence here in the state of Maine. So I spent seven and a half years at the Women's Center and then I was transferred. And then they were like, after like 10 or 11 months, they were like, hey, listen, you gotta get out in the community. They would take us to a career center in Bangor and drop us off. And I remember sitting there thinking, no one's gonna hire me. I got a background, no one's gonna hire me. This one lady, she came over and introduced herself to me and she was like, I see you come in here all the time, but like, you're not really doing anything. Is there anything I can do to help you? So she's like, I think I have the right job for you. And it was a recovery coach on a two year grant. I was actually walking to work, rain, shine, snow. The fear was being around a lot of people. Um, the fear was not catching the bus at, at, at the right place not having the, enough funds or did I forget something or am I dressed appropriately for the weather. Transportation is one of the pieces that fit for people dealing with you know mental health, substance use, um, and getting there to appointments. I would try to figure out which stop buses would fly by me so I can imagine the people that we were working with because it was like I know exactly what you're going through and you can do it, we can get through this. I'm surrounded by recovery all the time, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. My advice for somebody that is struggling with substance use would be reach out and don't give up. Don't give up hope. It doesn't matter if it's your hundredth time coming to a recovery center or going to a detox. The people that I've chose to surround myself love me unconditionally. Find somebody that will listen to you find a plan that works for you, find a recovery pathway that works for you. There are so many of them out there. You're worth it. You're, you're, this life is, is beautiful in recovery.